Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell. And of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing a pretty sweet looking shirt. Mr. Science Geek, Rick. Check out Rick's channel. He sent me this shirt, and uh, I decided I was going to wear it for my video. I think Rick and I look like, like if I were to shave my beard and have blue eyes and maybe darker skin, I'd, I'd look just like him. I don't know if he has blue eyes. It's a little creepy that I said that, but whatever. Anyway, Rick is a science teacher down in Virginia, I think. Uh, he's a great guy. Smaller channel, smaller YouTube channel. Uh, he had a baby this year, last year, and so he hasn't been uh, producing many videos, but he just recently got back into and started. So go give him some love for me, subscribe to his channel, and uh, give him a shout out from me. All right, guys, it's Fry Fry Friday, so we're gonna take a fish room tour. Go grab a snack and a beverage, and as always, let me know what it is, and uh, stand by. You folks, let's start by saying hi to Chewy and his ginormous cock. It definitely has gotten bigger since the last time I showed him to you. But uh, I'm jealous of his huge cock. Anyway, Chewy gets uh, some snails every day. You can see some snail bits on the bottom. There he is, big feller. And uh, I also feed him Excalibur food from ExcaliburFH.com. That's Tyler's company. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all he gets. I do sometimes drop in some of these Cobalt Ultra Pellet Predator. Not a big fan of them, though. And this Ultra Pellet Cichlid food, he likes too. Uh, I just got that. I'm trying that out before I do a review for you guys. I feed that to, obviously, Chewy sometimes. But my uh, Oscars, that's Han. And there's Leia down in the cave. There's also a Jibiceps Pleco in here I'm growing out that I'll sell probably at the Bucks County auction. <coughs> I'm fine. Also, the cichlid pellets go to uh, these cribs in here. I picked these cribs up uh, in the deal that I got the platies for. Basically, they were thrown in. And uh, I've sold the breeding pair, and I've sold, they were juveniles. Now they're sub-adults, if not almost fully grown already. I've sold them. And as soon as it gets warm, I'll ship them off, so. Uh, let's start with the fry though. Let's, let's go over here. So here we have a disaster of a tank with, um, glass belly guppies. And there are some long fin plecos in there. I saw one fry that looked like it was a few minutes old. It still had an egg sack. Uh, I took a picture and posted it. I haven't seen any fry since. I don't know if they made it or not. I don't know if they're just hiding, but we'll see what happens. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. Here we have half black uh, red fry that are just growing out. Um, just growing them out in here, and then uh, as I can sex them, I'll probably separate them. Here we have the uh, platinum red dragons. These guys, there's fry in there. You can see there's a little tiny fry over there. A lot of fry in the, in the moss. And uh, these guys are the ones that won second place at the uh, Keystone Clash great guppy kind of dumbos kind of not dumbos but they're great they uh they look fantastic very hardy very healthy very prolific uh what else oh up here we have a betta for sale and uh unfortunately there was a betta in this tank bruce that jumped to his death i don't know how he got out i really don't but i found him on the floor one day and uh Let's just say he was a little crispy. Also in this tank, with lots of mulm, and for all you haters, you can suck it, um, is some calico plecos, which I can't find them at the moment, but that's fine. And then of course, the blue-eyed lemon pleco tank with, I don't know, three or four million snails in it. Pretty nasty tank right now. Um, I dropped a lot of food in there this morning because I didn't think I was going to be home in time to feed them, but here I am. Anyway, speaking of dirty Pleco tanks, I think what I'm going to do is add a third zone. And uh, that third zone is going to be extra water changes for the Pleco tank. Because I do, they're packed in there. I do overfeed them. There are a ton of snails, so I'll keep the water a little cleaner. Uh, what else? 
moving along. I shut the fan off for the video, so you're welcome. Here are the mystery cichlids. There's the big one and there's the little one. I don't know if they're a pair. I don't know if one's male, one's female. I don't know anything about them. If you are cichlid people, please tell me what the hell they are. Um, I'd appreciate that. And this is also Gra albino plecos, albino bristlenose plecos. In this tank, we have the platies. You can see there's quite a bit of babies in here and there are some chocolate plecos. Uh, hopefully reproducing boom chicka, boom boom but I don't know there's one on the back wall over there you can see underneath the the drain I think there's three or four in here I got them from Mikey from Mile High Pleco in here this tank oh hi Andy say hi Andy in this tank are the uh, super red bristlenose grow outs actually these aren't grow outs these are still babies um, I don't know. There's like three or four hundred of them. You can see there's adults on the back sucking on the drain. Um, this was a tank that I got a bunch of Java moss from and it came in dead, almost dead. And I tried to revive it by putting in a tank and I realized I wasn't gonna be able to save it. And now I have to try to get it out of here without sucking up Pleco babies. So a little bit of a challenge, a little difficult. Uh, you can see the water level is kind of low because I did I did try to clean some this morning without sucking up the baby. So hopefully these babies will, will be big enough that I can sell at the Bucks County auction coming up in May. I'll be doing a little uh, video of that, I'm sure. Also in uh, April. Oh, look at that one. Look how small that one is. See if we can focus. Boop, boop. Nope. Eh. Anyway. Uh, also in April, I'll be doing the NEC show up in Connecticut with my friends uh, Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlids and of course my boy Scott and his girl Liz who's it's his birthday today Thursday happy birthday Scott if you guys haven't done so already go over to his channel and show him some love um, but they're gonna be there too I'm pretty excited to hang out with some friends at a pretty cool fish show anyway uh, these guys, I've been pulling males out of here, putting them in my male, one of my male guppy grow out tanks, and there's a couple females left. Um, not so sure what I'm going to do with these guys. They're not really breeding as brilliant as I had liked, and that male's got a jacked up tail. Looks a little skinny too. May have to treat this tank again, but they keep having a fry. I've been mixing them in with my mutt guppies too, because I don't know. I don't really like them, but moving on to the Japanese blues very prolific these will be going back up on the website shortly because you can see i have a poop ton of fry and different size babies <clears throat> there may still be a super red pleco in here i tried to pull them out and put them in my grow out tank but we'll see up here we have the dark purple moscows uh there's a couple babies in there um not really sure what's going on why they're not breeding like i think I'm fine. Why they're not breeding like I want is what I should say, but unless the babies are just hanging in the weeds, but I've seen a bunch come up to the top when I feed them, so. Uh, we'll have to get into that soon. Here's an empty tank that I'm just using the auto water change system to fill. Here we have the Medusa guppies, lots of fry in here, different, different ages, it's like two or three different drops. There's an extra filter in there that's just uh, keeping some beneficial bacteria for the tank next to it. These guys are doing well. I do, it looks like I do have to add some more Java moss to this tank, which I can do shortly. Male half blacks, half black reds. That one's jacked up. See that tail? That's gonna be a mutt. Even though it's a perfectly good guppy, that tail makes it a mutt because it's kind of jacked up, so. Moving on to the Jar Wheelazulis. These are the slowest growing guppies I have ever seen. Um, I will have some more coming in next week from a fantastic gal that will be sending them to me. Uh, but for now, these are just grow outs and I can see some males, I can see some females, but they are literally taking forever to color up. I think this, this batch or at least one of these batches was born in like November and I can tell like one male from that. Like this, this one is probably a male, but yeah. These are spectacular Nebula Steel Guppies from Keith at KJE. Uh, Keith gave these to me for doing my favor. 
Well, he gave me a bunch for doing him a favor, and then they bred and bred like guppies. So these will be going up on the website shortly as well. I had them in this tank over here with plecos, but uh, this is a 10 gallon and a 10 gallon with uh, a bunch of guppies and plecos isn't working. You can see there's a couple of tiny fry still in there. Um, I'm just gonna let them grow out so they're easier to catch. Tank's a little cloudy, comes from food, what can I say? Uh, what did we skip? We skipped all these tanks. Let's go over here. These guys are the Red Russian Lace Guppies that Super Breeder Doug gave me. Check out Doug's channel, Doug Gray. He's a bit weird and he drives a Nissan, but nice guy. Hawaiian Snake Skins? <sighs> Lost all the adults. Now, some of you haters are going to say it's because my tanks are dirty. And you, like I said, you guys can suck it. Look, I think there's a Pleco stuck in the tube of not stuck but in the tube of the of the filter that might be a snail no that's just a snail oh but there's a pleco on the side anyway uh lost all the adults in this tank and you haters are gonna say it's because the tank's dirty but sometimes adult guppies die especially when the females give birth in a new situation a new setup so i'm letting these uh fry grow out and then i will separate the best looking couple females and one male and uh, put them as a breeding pair or a breeding setup. Here is my super red bristle nose grow out tank. I don't know, there's 15 or so in here. All almost sale size. All, all, most of them are sale size. There's two or three that are too small, but all these are already sold. Sold on the website. You guys wanted them. I started breeding them. There you go. Also black Moscow's from super breeder Doug. I did see some frying here the other day. I don't know if they're still in here. I would assume they're just hiding in the weeds. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't see any fry now, but hopefully they're still in the weeds. We didn't do the bottom tanks. I'll do the bottom tanks last. I'll grab the chair and do the bottom tanks. Uh, here's the breeding project. Red Cobra females and Black Moscow's. They've had some fry. I'm assuming all those fries are, are good. All those fries? They're not fries. <coughs> French fries. I'm fine. I'm actually sick. Uh, all the fry are probably red cobra fry. So as soon as they grow a little bigger and I can catch them, I'll put them in the mutt tank. Empty tank. Half blacks. Just growing out some fry so we can sell them. They're on the website. Tanaka Maple Leaf Guppies, this is the tank I boiled, but uh, there's at least one really nice male right there, and uh, I believe a couple more female, so once once they get big enough to breed, <coughs> I'll have more. <sighs> Nothing. These are grow outs from one of my tubs. I don't know why they're growing so slow, but they are. These are the uh, blue, the purple and yellow uh, nebula steels. These are what's left of the nebula steels and mutt, basically. I didn't like how any of these bred, although that, that purple and yellow nebula steel that's over there did not look like that a week ago. So I might take that one out and put it somewhere else. I'll probably just end up putting them with the mutts. I have so many mutts. Sunset Cobra Mosaics. Here's another tank where uh, two females gave birth and both passed the same day. It was pretty sad. Uh, but we do have that one really nice male left and one female and lots of fry growing out. Here we have albino bristlenose plecos. <coughs> I pulled most of the fry out that I could catch, put them in the grow out tank. And you can see they're getting ready in the caves, having some business. Have the uh, Aqua Clear hang on back to clear up some of the gunk. Mutt tank. I mean, just look at these mutts. They are spectacular. Beautiful. More mutt tanks. Um, lots of mutt fry. Looking forward to see what they look like. Look, there's a Japanese blue I put in there. That's like a red cobra almost. I mean, they look great. Look at them. Look great. All right, I got to get the stool. So uh, go refresh your snack and your beverage, and I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, we're back. Here is a blue tank of mutts. I started putting lots of blues together in here. I don't know what's going to come out of them. We'll see. There's a Japanese box filter in the back and this 
crappy china filter in the front with no air to it but this is a i mean a fairly common mutt tank for me you know there's a ton of mutts actually it looks like i should probably put some more java moss in here but whatever here's a tank of mutts that seem to be breeding pretty true which is pretty strange for mutts there's one with a yellow tail but all these other ones look spectacular i'm considering separating them and seeing how the next two batches look um and going from there so more mutts looks like a female dropped about three or four bazillion fry uh some really nice ones in here like that that magenta colored one looks fantastic also somewhat breeding true for mutts there's some pothos i mean look how big this pothos is it goes all the way up there i have one in the back that's longer um so anyway these are mutt tanks i'm gonna be combining them like i said uh you know because they're mutts but look how many fryer in here so for all you haters that say my tanks are too dirty and all my fish die when i mail them and blah 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 suck it and um yeah look at that oh is that it looks like i have one with i don't know i thought i saw one with a pretty cool looking tail but now i can't find it so moving on empty tank water change water scooching by folks here we have the dumbo rainbow dragon mosaics quite a bit of fry in there a couple adults left from uh <clears throat> i sold most of them actually last year i didn't even realize so uh luckily i have quite a bit of fry left that are growing out hopefully these will be ready for sale uh when it gets warmer here is a uh, my final mutt tank um basically i'm lazy and i haven't caught the fish in here and put them in one of the other big mutt tanks but you can see there's a poop ton of fry in here it's just going to be a pain in the butt to catch everything and i'm too lazy so um you can see that my my do-it-yourself lids are doing great two on one tank none on this tank yeah here's a toolbox that rich from rich's fish has bought me guys rich from rich's fish is back he released a video uh, today, Thursday, when you watch this Friday, it'll be a day old from Discus Madness in North Jersey. I did a tour of Discus Madness too. Why don't you check both those videos out? Let me know which one you like better. Um, this tank is lots. Look at that. Look at all that algae. I got to clean that. You can't see crap in here. Anyway, these are um, red cobras. I have a customer who ordered a crap ton of red cobras. He wants young females, don't we all? And... Um, I can see there's definitely some younger females and definitely some bigger females in here. And there's one red cobra male getting busy with all those females. See it? Actually, maybe there's two now. Maybe there's three. Maybe there's four. No, I got to go through here and look. I thought there was only one, but I guess one of the one of the fry grew up. Got manly. Look at that one. He's like, yeah, baby. What's up? <coughs> Second tank of red cobras. Uh, I keep two tanks of them because, quite frankly, I sell a lot of them. And, uh, yeah. Here's an empty tank with some dead java moss in it. Got to clean it, drill it, plumb it. Male red cobra and black Moscow tank. Also, some of those steelhead AOCs. Oh, I lied. I think this is a mutt tank. I can't remember what I put in here. And I know, folks, you're thinking, what was that? That's what you're thinking. No, nope. I'm thinking. Stand by. Sorry, fishy folks. I had to move some stuff to get uh get around here. I think this is another mutt tag. And I think this was a project. And I know what you're gonna say, Mike. You said you're gonna label your tanks. How come you're not labeling your tanks? Cause I'm lazy and I don't have time. I think this is that mutt tank that's down there next to the uh, rainbow dragon mosaics. I think I put a really fat female in here and I wanted to see what all her babies would look like. And then her babies kind of grew up and there's fry in there and there's different females. I don't know. They're going to be mutts. I'm going to move them. I swear. Black pandas. There is a poop ton of black pandas in here, fully grown. So uh, as soon as it gets warmer and you want to order these black panda guppies, go ahead. Look, there's some new fry. And these are the uh, blue cobras I got from my local fish store. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six. There's six left. I'm pretty excited. I think I skipped a row of fish. I have to go back and check. 
Anyway, um, they made it through quarantine, no problem. They made it through when I was away for six days, no problem. And yeah, that's that. I'm gonna add some Java moss to the tank and start getting them plump for breeding. Now that they're through um, quarantine, I'll probably pull out all the males for now and let the female drop their first batch of fry. Drop a male back in there after the fry grow a little bit. They, that is some nice looking blue cobras though, let me tell you. All right, what did I leave out? <coughs> I'm fine. Coming over here, let's check out. Oh, there's the Jibiceps Pleco making an appearance. What do you think that guy's worth? I want to bring him to the auction. I don't want to ship him. He's too big. There's Han, my boy, and Leia, his girl. Um, I think I missed these blue guys over here. Did I? I don't remember if I talked about these. No, I missed this whole row. I'm so silly. These are uh, neon blue guppies I got from my local fish store. I bought four. And I know I lost one female after she gave birth to those fry. But now I only see two. I don't want to go rustling through that pile of java moss because she could be in there dropping some more fry. Those, see those little fry are about five or six days old it looks like. <coughs> I don't know if she's in there. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. We'll see, but... Hopefully these guys will be growing up and getting on the website soon. Here we have some more albino bristlenose. These are like really big ones and the super china filter. A couple of people commented I didn't really do anything except add square sponges. You know, whatever. I'm not an engineer and quite frankly, I don't think you are either. There's a baby. Cha-ching, baby albino bristlenose. Lots of different caves in here. Thank you, Greg Jones, for sending me some caves. And thank you, Lisa from Super Cichlids, for sending me those cobalt caves. Love them, love them, love them. All right, fishy folks. We talked about the Crebenzas. There's also some regular bristlenose in here. And in here, we also have some um, calico bristlenose. We saw the Super Reds, right? Yeah, I think we saw everything. <coughs> I'm fine. Got some more cobalt foods that I'm gonna be talking about in the next couple weeks. Love the cobalt ultra guppy, it's my favorite food. The plan this weekend, believe it or not, is to clean up the workbench, cause next week I'm home, then a week later I'm in San Francisco. Gonna go see my girl Barbara, I hope. And when I get back, it'll be shipping time, so I gotta get this cleaned off, so. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the fish room tour. It's a long one, I hope you stayed to the end and liked it. Let's take one more look at Chewy's cock. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started in the video, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And of course, when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing a pretty cool looking shirt course you can't see it and if i back up you're not gonna be able to see it either so i'm gonna redo this all over stand by hi fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you guys before we get started in the video do me a favor go ahead and obliterate that notification no 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 i do this every video 